Bracing for Milton, which uh, is nearly record low barometric pressure mm. in the storm here tonight. This is the latest on the storm. We haven't had a new advisory since 7 o'clock, but at that time they were estimating the central pressure down to 897 millibars, which would be the fourth lowest ever recorded uh, in the Gulf, the Caribbean, the Atlantic, since they've been flying planes into hurricanes since 19. 79 estimated top winds 180 miles per hour uh, in about 24 hours projected to weaken some but still be a category five shows you how strong it is right now and then another 24 hours so this would be wednesday evening projected to hit the coast near tampa as a category three storm and then weaken somewhat as it moves across the florida peninsula if that all happens it will be just devastating to the beaches of uh, St. Pete Beach, Clearwater Beach, uh, Anna Maria Island, all the way down through Sarasota and even all the way down toward Fort Myers. Randy Factor time of nine coming up for the day on Tuesday after we just had a 10 today on the Randy Factor scale. 72 the high, 35 the low. Light wind, sunshine, dry air, and we need rain. I mean, we'd love to get some moisture around here. Still, some weed pollen, the air quality just so-so because the farmers are working hard on the harvest. Puts a lot of dust in the air. You get some, some particulate matter. Look at the fountain at Bayless Park. Spectacular. 57, light winds, dew point 42. Already in the 40s for western Iowa. Winds are light. No rain. Skies are clear in the metro. Southwest of us, a little patch of clouds, but it's kind of drifting south, so we'll have... Generally clear skies overnight. Temperatures plunging, but rising again tomorrow. Now, there's a chance that if we stay below 80, we could have another top 10 day on Tuesday. Light winds in the morning. I do think we'll get a little bit of a breeze in the afternoon. So perhaps too much breeze for a top 10 day, but it'll be close. So again, chance to see the northern lights. If you have a clear spot, if you're north of the metro in a dark location, Worth a look. A lot of reports already across the eastern part of the country. What a day coming for Tuesday. If we didn't have today, we'd be raving about what incredible weather is on the way for Tuesday. Then it's 84 for Wednesday and 86 for Thursday and 87 for Friday. Both of those days, we're going to get more of a south breeze. And as dry as it is, uh, fire danger may be more and more of a concern those days. All right, we'll be watching. Thanks, yep, Bill. Sure. Coming up in sports, Nebraska's punter brings home a Big Ten Weekly Award for his performance against Rutgers. Plus